Hey there, folks, what is going on? Clutch here with the Farm Sim Show. We're looking at brand new mods, mods that are being updated, as well as the mods that are in testing for Farming Simulator 19, as we've got seven brand new mods to talk about today. So we've got a bunch of updates. I think it's like 13 updates. We'll look at those as well. Don't forget, folks, we do uh, live streams as well as Let's Plays here. Pretty much every day you're going to find a new video on this channel, so make sure you guys hit that subscription button. Don't forget to ring the bell as well. Other than that, guys, let's dive into this. Starting from the get-go here, we're taking a look at all the brand spanking new mods. We're going to scroll through these and get down to those in a second. Down there at the bottom, guys, we're going to get to, well, the Adurita pack. It's been updated. The Lizard D46, D47 pack updated. Rogue River, Crater Lake, Wilhelmina Forest. All the forestry maps have been updated. The Grime the GL430, the One Hand Bag, the JCB4355. Uh, the Batter Stat is also updated. And then a couple tractors here, the Veltra S series, as well as the SDL pack updated. And lastly, Labouche Goliath and the Reversing Indoor Camera. All updated. Look at all those updates. A lot of good mods in that list that have been updated. Now, also, don't forget, we're going to be checking out mods and testing in a sec. There's a lot of new mods and testing. That whole list has changed over today. Pretty much everything. I don't think there's a single thing on there that was there yesterday that's on there today. So make sure you guys stick around for that. But we've got to get through, well, the new mods first. So we've got seven new mods here to look at. Let's jump into the game and take a look at each one of them. So let's start right here with the biggest power harrowers in the game now. The new two biggest power harrowers, not just one, it's two of them. And they're now the biggest power harrowers in the game. I, this is the 450, the 600 series, and the 800 series, I guess, is the names between the two of them. So on our right, we have the smaller of the versions. This one here has a working width of 6 meters, requires 220 horsepower, max speed of 10 kilometers an hour. Price it sells for is 32 grand. The larger of the two, wow, look at the size of that. That's at 8 meters, the same speeds, requires 450 horsepower upwards of, yeah, not bad. There's quite a bit, Jage. That's what sells for four hundred or $40,000. Let's jump in, take a look at the store. And of course, you're going to find, like I said, those in your power harrower section. They both have the exact same options when you go into them. And that is just for a design for a roller option on the rear of it. If we zip this around, you can see there's a roller there. And you can change that between a pack, a spiked, or a caged roller. So you get three different options there depending on what you want to go with. There you go, folks. That there is the 450-800 as well as the 450-600-800, I believe. So moving on from the largest power hero, we're going to move on to a couple of small plows. This is the trail plow. It is a small trail plow, older style trail plow. We have two different models this mod comes with, the BT-2 and the BT-3. The BT-2 is a smaller at 1 meter. The BT-3 is at 1.3 meter, which is the one on the right. You can see there the extra, the extra plows on that one. It sells for 7500 bucks or 8700 depending on which version. It requires 90 or 140 horsepower, depending on which version of gun. And the only real option is colors. Both models do come with this selection. You can see here we have five different options. More green, more green, or red and blue. There you go. That's your options. That is the Nardi BT-2 and the BT-3 plows. And next up, probably our most popular mod of the day, the John Deere 7030 Premium Series. Oh yes, folks, we got another medium tractor, John Deere medium-sized tractor in the Mod Hub. This tractor is available for all platforms, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, as well as PC and Mac. This thing's gonna sell at base for 85,000 bucks, 85,500 to be specific. The maximum speed is 53 kilometers per hour, and it has five different engine co configurations you can put on this. Now, its base is going to put you at about 151 horsepower. If you go all the way up to this 50, uh, 7530 premium that we're running right now, you're going to be at 209 horsepower. So quite a wide variation there. As well, you're going to have options for, well, wheels, of course. The trailer boards are running here. It has the full options from wides to weights to duels to skinnies. Absolutely everything um, for the trailer boards. You also have an option to go with some Michelins on there. And, of course, you have a front loader option, which is always awesome with this size tractor. And then you can change the front up from having a three-point hitch to weights to nothing as well. So we have quite a few options on this tractor. The one option I forgot to mention was actually the front fenders can be deleted as well. So there's some front fender options that you can delete off this to make it look a little bit more slick. I don't know. <laughs> it's total price once all options are selected. 107000 bucks. So that there, guys, that's the John Deere 7030 Premium Series. Now, the rest of our mods, folks, they are all placeable mods of sorts, starting with this is pallets right here. You can see we're actually in the miscellaneous section of our placeables area. And if we go down here, we're going to have a couple different pallets. There's more than just this, though. Uh, just be aware of that. We have herbicide, fertilizer, seeds and saplings here. Now, instead of having to buy these directly from the store, what you can do with this mod is it'll allow you to buy it and then place it down wherever you would like. So we'll put it down here between our mods. And then when we warp back in, it's there and now we can use this seed bag as it's a normal seed bag it will disappear once it's done just like a normal seed bag but it allows you to place it anywhere in the game world 
without having to go back to the store. So that there is pallets, folks. And here we have the small liquid tank. This is a small liquid tank that holds fertilizer and herbicide for your sprayers. It holds 60,000 liters of both types of liquids. It sells for you, it's gonna cost you 4,000 bucks to place it as well. It's gonna, uh, daily upkeep is about five bucks on this bad boy. So there you go, folks, that's the small liquid tank. And now we have a couple of PC exclusive mods. These are not available on console. We have two mods that are PC exclusive. This is the Dynamic Potato Hall. This only works in conjunction with the Global Companies mod. It sells for 69,000 bucks and it has a bunch of different storage areas so we can open up each one of these you can see here and there's a storage area in each single one just like a regular silo where we can store bulk products each one of these is going to hold 200,000 liters each and then your uh, removal area is right on the outside here so that there is the dynamic potato hall and lastly the pellet storage house this requires of course global companies as well as the straw uh, the straw add-on, the straw harvest add-on package we received a few weeks back. So it's once again, the straw pellet building, very similar. However, there are some changes to it. You can see instead we have like a silo system on the side, but it will also store all your bulk, your bulk items from your bale nets, your bale yarn pallets, the molasses pallets, straw hay belts. Uh, it'll store pretty much anything that's in regards to that package. Now, one of the things you'll notice that's a little bit different, of course, you've got, well, the silos as well as the output filter the inputs right here for your pellets but there's a bunch of options here on this box we're going to need to bring up our menu so we can kind of see what exactly is going on here because it's not exactly the best to try and grab them all so we can turn on our light of course turn lights on right there we can also let's see if we can tr turn this one on right here fade and trigger markers so now we can see where all our triggers are for everything there we go our bales uh we go on this side here let's see if we can get this one to activate uh we can show or hide our warning strips let's see how that warning strip was there and then on this far side let's see fade and displays there we go now we have displays all in here these were not in here before and these show you each one of the products how much you have stored of each like i said this works with global companies and that straw harvest add-on you're gonna need both of those mods in order to get this to work but there you go folks that's the pellet storage house let's move on to mods in testing so like I was saying earlier, our mods and testing list has changed up considerably over the last day. Everything on this list, I can't think of really anything that was on the list yesterday that's on there today. Unfortunately, Millennial Farms is off the list once again. Not a surprise there. We kind of knew that was going to happen as testing's getting changed up uh, and they're er finding errors and fixing errors. So hopefully we'll see it back again before the end of the week. Maybe not until next week. Who knows there? Anyways, let's dive in. We'll take a look at the list. We'll start off with PC. Once again, the stuff that's listed for PC here, folks, they can move down on a console once they are done. It all depends on what the wish of the mod maker is. Let's do this. So right off the bat, we have the Adorante pack. We got Bacolo map, building with cows, the FS19 pre-alps, global companies. We have a few different options here that are happening. We've got stationary balers, field leasing, as well as the field calculator. Goldcrest Valley. Hitachi ZX 29 LC bale forks, the KMB 8 PS Maze Plus, Matsvoyan Lowlands, the Posse Bison Shuttle, the Real Dirt Fix, got an update for that mod, the Real Shovel, an update for Sandy Bay 19, and lastly, folks, the Seasons Geo for North Carolina. So let's move on down. What's going on with console? The Amazon Kratos 5002, the Grime GL430, the JCB435S Stage 4 and Stage 5. We got an update for the Lizard 6M Cultivator, the Lizard Bronze B3000, the new bales, as well as the new Holland T4. I'm hoping we see a two wheel drive variant of this T4. I'm still hoping. The Pottinger Terra Disc 1001, as well as the Sip Spider 305 for ALP. And lastly, folks, we have an update coming to the Slurry Dealer Pack. There you go. So number of mods currently waiting to be tested is up to 214 with an average wait time of seven work days. That list is getting so big. There's so many mods waiting to be tested. Yet we're not a lot on this list. I'm hoping we see this explode before the end of the week. So folks, that is going to do it for us here today. Thank you for joining me once again. Appreciate having you folks in here. If you guys enjoyed today's video, thumbs up, hit that thumbs up button down at the bottom there. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And folks, I will catch you guys next time. Have a good day and we'll see you then. See ya folks.